Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And up next, we talk some serious business with the Latino Startup Alliance. They are a Silicon Valley-based organization built to empower the next generation of Latino startups and innovators. And they do that through tech incubators and other programs that help develop more entrepreneurship in Latino communities. It's through organizations like this that the seeds of success are being planted where they matter most, including right here on Latin Nation. My name is Jesse Martinez and I'm the co-founder and co-chair for Latino Startup Alliance. Latino Startup Alliance is a nonprofit focused on empowering Latino tech entrepreneurs. What we do is we provide the tools, resources, mentorship, and also a sense of community to help support other Latino tech entrepreneurs as well as the startups that they're working on. I started this back in 2011, and so as a Latino tech entrepreneur, I was looking for resources because I saw that there were other community-based organizations supporting their entrepreneurs. And so when I did a Google search, I could not find anything in the area supporting Latino tech entrepreneurs. And my question to myself was, how could that be? You know, I was left scratching my head. And so launched Latino Stripe Alliance as a meetup group. Six people was our first meetup here in the Mission District of San Francisco. And so fast forward, we've grown organically. Now we're over a thousand members globally. My name is Luz Gonzalez, and I am co-founder and CEO of Convive. What Convive is, it's a financial technology company working to create financial ecosystems for emerging markets. Part of the, the issue that we have with current credit scores, it's for people who are immigrants or refugees or new to this country. They had a financial life behind them when they were back in China or in Mexico or wherever. But when you arrive, it's like you have to start from zero. And it's hard for you to tell that story about your credit worthiness. And so what we want to create with the global credit score, it's when my dad arrives in the United States, he has, he's able to tell that story based on his experiences back in his previous country. I am Marisela Garcia, and I am the founder and CEO of Iberus. Typically, when you speak to a Latin American investor, let's just look at Mexico itself. But when you mention the word startups, technology, it's an automatic like block. They're not familiar with it. They don't feel comfortable. It's very new to them. So this is where I found an opportunity, me being based in Silicon Valley and you know, very fortunate to actually be a San Francisco native, I was able to create this bridge between Latin American ca capital and connecting them with the great talent of, of startups and investors that we currently find here in Silicon Valley. My name is Georgina Miranda and I'm the founder of Altitude 7. Altitude 7 is an adventure lifestyle media platform for women. Our mission is to inspire and equip women to live adventurous, bold, and worldly lives. If you look at outdoor media, you tend to see it a lot through the lens of men. The women make up maybe about 20% of the content um, when we make up 50% of the outdoor participation and we're the leading trend in solo travel. LSA is helping by, one, just creating a network and an environment of other Latino entrepreneurs. You're able to talk to someone and I can say, hey, I'm looking for someone with expertise in, in NLP or in artificial intelligence. And they can say, oh, I have a friend. Uh, so that's, that's really invaluable. And it's really special to be a part of a community and support each other when you, know, you look around the room and there's not many people like us. Long term wise, what we see Latino Startup Alliance doing is being able to continue to grow its global community as well as establish a presence across the U.S. And so whether if you're in L.A., Austin, Miami, Chicago, Dallas, right, by having LSA establish a presence there, then we become the bridge from those cities back to Silicon Valley.